Hello everyone, in this video I'm trying out the Einstar scanner, the Einstar 3D scanner to scan in my um, brake air duct um, plastic part. So I 3D printed out a um, test model, I adjusted it and now I'm scanning it to compare it with, uh, with the actual 3D model. Uh, I'm doing scanning without the markers, just to try out the scanner, uh, how it picks up uh, the surfaces. Um, it, it's also like a good idea to, to test uh, the scanner when, in a different, you know, uh, different ways or with, with the markers, without the markers. So, so you get uh, more experience with, uh, with the 3D scanning and you get to know the scanner a lot better. So uh, I made the first scan with just the parts. So now I added more, um, um, you know, more parts around it to maybe possibly capture the, um, the duct better. But um, I keep adding and adding more and more parts just to, um, just to get more features. Uh, so that scan would be more efficient or more better. So I'm really trying to get the to the other side of the part, but I just I just can't. So in this case, it's easier for me just to uh, remove all the unnecessary scanned area and generate cloud points and start a new project to get the other side of the of the part. So later I can align them and. Uh, get the um, you know complete part here I think I also added more parts around it possibly um, going around the object slowly I, I keep losing uh, tracking I believe it's because uh, I'm really close to the window and my window is open as you can see on the top left corner of the video uh, also, it was a sunny day, so maybe maybe that was the issue with the, with the tracking and and all that. And also, the part is black. I did add some scanning test um, to get the surface uh, more better, but um, it gets a bit shaky when it's uh, trying to keep the tracking. But this time, I got to the other side. Uh, so that's good but yeah scanning without uh, without the markers is, uh, is really difficult so you can also see it's picking up a lot of noise around the object in later in this video you can you can see why is it good idea to clean it before meshing the model so I got the other side so let's clean the scan from from the noise and from unnecessary parts after this uh, you can see me aligning the first and the second scan perfect so now i can rotate it and check if i need to make another Third scan, yeah, you can see there's a hole uh, under under the lip. So I start a new project. Trust me, I tried like six, seven, or eight times to get this surface. So I'm just happy to get uh, <laughs> to get this uh, this much as I have right now. So uh, doing the same thing again, making the alignments. So now you can see also the noise from, from the top edges. Uh, so that's why it's, it's important to clean it before meshing. Uh, because if you don't and you clean it after, there is going to be a, a small gap uh, on the edge. But uh, for this part, I don't, I don't care, care about this, uh, this missing part or this missing edge. So yeah. You can you can see it. You can. It's it's not 
100% perfect. It's really difficult to reverse engineer using this uh, scanner, but it's it is doable. It's it's di more difficult, but it's doable. Here is uh, an example um, of a part, um, similar part scanned with uh, with professional scanner. It's the Einstar. Uh, I'm sorry, Einscan HX. Uh, I was using a laser scan uh, function or feature on it. Here are the um, the surfaces are perfect, so you can you can use it to create another part or reverse engineer it. And also, when using Einstar scanner, I would use uh, markers. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a must when when scanning in parts. So you don't, you would not have to like mess with uh, mess with all these um, other features and I don't know bottle caps or or you know other things that you saw on the on the scan video. Uh, so yeah, would I recommend it for reverse engineering? No, but for a hobby scanner. I would say yeah, why not? Uh, it's it's better than nothing. It's um, definitely better than some other scanners in this price price range. So um, so yeah, 